What's up, y'all? This Muse here from Titan How To. Bring you another video today on how to plasti dip some things on your car. Today we're going to be talking about your bumper and your grill. Now, there's a couple things you got to know about your bumper and your grill. If you have the backup sensors on your on your bumper, you need to make sure that you're aware of that. And if you plasti dip over them, the best way that I found to do this which might show it a little different on the video I showed you to put tape over it. The best way to do it is actually to just plasti dip two or three coats right over that sensor and then take a toothpick like you did with your letters and peel it right off that clear glassy part of your sensor. If you don't do that, your backup sensor won't won't work. So make sure you have that if you have a backup sensor. Also, on your grill, on the little bottom insert on the bottom part of your grill, not the chrome metal part, but there's a little black insert towards the bottom. You want to make sure that you could take that out. It makes your process a little easier when you're peeling it off. I found it was a little more difficult to peel off the Plasti Dip straight from the chrome to the plastic. So if you could take it off, it's that much easier. I believe it's like four uh, bolts on the rear. They're kind of harder to get to with the wrench. And then three little plastic things towards the top. I don't have any video of that, but it might make a illusion. Now you don't have to, but it's something that you might want to consider doing. You'll see in the video that I chose to take my front bumper excuse me, my front grill out, and that was just because, uh, for me, I wanted to do the process of taking it out in case I ever did a headlight mod, so I'll kind of show you how to do that on the video as well. Other than that, make sure you visit uh, titantalk.com, great place to learn about your Titan and other things. Uh, subscribe below if you like the video and you want to see more. i got a couple more videos coming soon. i got some big news coming soon as well, so make sure you click subscribe, follow these videos, and let's get Alrighty, I got it pretty much max soft taped off. I'm not going to get up towards the black part bumper. I did end up taking the little plastic piece off of this. It's just four little tabs that you push from the back side. There it is sitting right there. Took that off because I don't really care if I overspray on the spare tire in between it. Took the license plate off. You can see I have the blue tabs taped off here. I left a little gray ring around it just because it's going to be gray on a black bumper, so I figured I could spray that too. And then those uh, blue squares are the license plate lights. So that's all masked off and taped. So remember when you're doing this, the first coat's going to be a nice light coat, maybe 50% visible. It's not going to be three or four coats on here just to get it all, all good to go. Making sure you're getting from all angles, so you're getting down and up, side to side. Alright, as you can see, my uh, first coat is done. It's about 50% covered. I'll let that dry for about 15 minutes. Hopefully beat it before uh, nightfall. Alright y'all, finished bumper. Painted, plastic dipped rather, black. I did have a few slip ups here. As you can see where the uh, license plate lights are, I had a hard time getting the Plasti Dip in and it actually tore a little bit. So I ended up taking the piece off. It's real easy to take off. You reach up and under the bumper. You push the little tab in right there. This one hooks on the other side. No push there. You push this little tab in and you pull it out. And then you could just un you just quick turn the light that's inside. Tuck that inside. It makes it a lot easier to Plasti Dip around that. All right, here's the front grill. I'm actually choosing to do the method where you take the grill off the top and you uh, paint the grill that's on the bottom. Now the grill on the top is a pretty easy uninstall. I had some problems because I had some big hands getting some of these uh, things turned. They're all just a simple flat head and your finger pressure. As you can see, there's four on top right here. That's just a simple turn. Two. here and four. Now on the bottom, I'll take the grill off just so you guys can see, on the bottom there's actually three on the bottom as well. You can see there's one, two, and three. Now the easiest way that I found to get those, if you have a super long flathead that you can slide in between 
between, there's actually space to slide in between the silver part on the bottom and the bumper. Slide it in through here, you can get it that way. I chose to go through the bottom here. Now, the only problem you might have going through the bottom and going up through to try to get them undone is if you have an aftermarket grill. You might not be able to fit your hands through there because you have some type of Lowe's homemade or a billet that you, that you ended up buying. Anyways, you got to turn those three. Now, another thing is there's tabs on the side. There's two tabs on the side, on each side, not one, but two. This is where I had the hard part. The tabs fit right in here and here. Same thing on the other side. Now, somebody must have messed with the grill before, here and here, because mine is still broken on the inside on this one, so this one was broken. But those bottom ones are definitely the hard ones to get out, because I couldn't fit my hands way down there. Now, to show you a little bit how you want to do that and get that off, is you'll see that the tabs look like, like this right here. You want to push away towards your headlights, away from the vehicle, and then they'll slide out towards you. Don't push in. It looks like you have to push in, but push away. It makes it much easier. So now I'm going to get this thing prepped, and we're going to get Plasti dipping. All right, pretty much got everything taped up. I'm going to tape a little bit of box around the silver. So what's going to happen is I'm going to actually paint onto my car here, and that will allow me to peel it off right at this edge to get a nice crisp finish. I also took a piece of paper. I got this at Home Depot. They have it in the spray paint section. Uh, they might have it at yours. If you don't have that, I can see that you could probably just use a, uh, a paper bag, cut open a paper bag. Put it. We put that there just to uh, prevent any of the plastic dip getting into your radiator. And that drips all the way down into here as well, making sure that we're protecting our engine. I have the tow hooks taped off as well. I don't really feel like peeling them and rubbing it off all those things. Need to overspray, you can always rub off. So I'm gonna put about four or five coats on here, making sure I get all directions, watch my other videos to kind of get more in depth of that. And uh, all right, everyone, I got the grill taped off. Now I know you could take the black part off of the chrome. I didn't have the time today to do that, so I just masked over it. I'll be uh, putting three to four coats onto this. Uh, make sure I get the plastic. Make sure you have no tape on the chrome. Even if you have a small little piece of tape on that chrome, when you start to peel that tape off, it's going to start peeling your plastic dip off. So make sure you uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll put three to four coats on and we'll be done with that. All right, today's a little less windy. I'm sorry for the rest of the video. It was pretty windy when I was videotaping, so I apologize for that. But this is the finished product of uh, the blacked out front grill and bumper. As you can see, uh, there's kind of a difference in contrast between the grates that I did not tape over, which I kind of like, gives it a little extra character. As you can see, nice crisp lines, just kind of peeled and rubbed it off, tow hooks, and then the front, that's that black insert I was telling you about that might be easier for you to take out if you have time. I do have a couple spots that I'm going to have to redo, but for the most part, pretty happy with uh, the front grill and the way it turned out.